This videotape will demonstrate the correct procedures for measuring internal and external unified screw threads. Measuring threads to a specified fit is essential to the manufacture of machined parts. After viewing this videotape, you should be able to write down the safety precautions to observe in the machine shop, define the basic terms used to describe thread forms, and describe five methods of measuring threads by using mating parts, the thread plug gauge or thread ring gauge, the thread micrometer, the three wire method, and the comparator. Like any other machine shop procedure, measuring screw threads requires basic safety precautions. Always wear your safety glasses, roll your sleeves above the elbow, and remove all jewelry such as watches and rings. The screw thread is the ridge or projection left after a uniform helical groove is cut on the outside or inside of a cylinder. Through the years, the demand for interchangeable parts has resulted in a number of thread systems, such as the Whitworth, the Acme, and the Unified. This videotape will deal with the Unified system, a thread with a 60 degree included angle between the sides of adjoining threads. Measuring or machining threads requires the use of the proper terminology for the thread forms. The thread angle is the angle formed by the intersection of the two sides of the thread. The thread angle in the unified system is 60 degrees. A common way of describing thread size is to state the nominal size or outside diameter and then the number of threads per inch. A three-quarter ten thread, for example, means that ten threads per inch are cut into stock three-quarters of an inch in diameter. The term threads per inch refers to the number of threads in an inch measured parallel to the axis. The major diameter of a thread is the largest diameter of the threaded portion of a screw or nut. The major diameter is also called the outside diameter, but this term is no longer in common use. The minor diameter of a thread is the smallest diameter on a screw. It is sometimes called the root diameter. The term minor diameter also applies to the inside diameter of a nut. The crest of a thread is the top surface that joins the two sides of a thread. The root is the surface that connects the bottom of the two adjacent threads. The depth of a thread is the distance between the crest and the root of a thread and is measured on a line at right angles to the axis of the part. Thread pitch is the distance from a point on one screw thread to a corresponding point on the next thread. The distance is measured parallel to the axis of the screw. The pitch in inches equals one inch divided by the number of threads per inch. For example, the pitch of a screw having 10 threads per inch would be one inch divided by 10 or 100 thousandths of an inch. The lead of a thread is the distance the thread advances along the axis in one turn. In a single thread screw, the lead is equal to the pitch. In a double thread screw, the lead is twice the pitch. The pitch diameter of a thread is the diameter of a thread measured between the pitch line on each side. The thread pitch line is approximately halfway down the thread at the point where the cross section of the thread and the width of the groove are equal. The term series refers to a set of symbols with standardized thread specifications. UNC is the series designated for unified national coarse threads while UNF designates unified national fine threads. The term fit class refers to the tolerance between internal and external threads. Number one is a very loose fit, two a fine fit, three a close fit, four a snug fit, and five a jam or interference fit. The fit class designation will also include the letter A for external threads or B for internal threads. Now let's use the standard method of describing a screw thread. In sequence, we will state nominal size or major diameter, threads per inch, thread series symbol, 
and fit class symbol. Threads will be assumed to be right hand unless a left hand designation LH follows the fit class symbol. So, a 1 quarter 20 UNC 3A thread has a nominal size of 1 quarter inch, 20 threads per inch, a unified national course series designation, and is a class 3 or close fitting external thread. With an understanding of thread terminology, let's consider some common methods of measuring threads. The simplest method is to use a mating part. This method, sometimes called the cut and try method, involves cutting a thread and then trying a mating part to see if it fits. This method is good for machining one part, but since the part is not of a calculated size, it will probably not interchange with other parts. Another method of measuring threads is with a thread plug gauge for internal threads and a thread ring gauge for external threads. These gauges employ a go-no-go no go principle. On the thread plug gauge, the go end should turn in flush to the bottom of internal threads. The no-go gauge, being slightly larger, should stop after about one thread. The go ring gauge should screw fully onto an external thread, while the no-go ring gauge should not go beyond about one and a half turns. Another common method of thread measurement involves the use of a thread micrometer. The movable spindle of the thread micrometer is ground to a point with a conical angle of 60 degrees. The anvil has a 60 degree V-shaped groove which fits over the threads. This tool measures pitch diameter directly from the thread itself. So the micrometer spindle and anvil contact the sides of the threads. To use the thread micrometer, take a reading from the threads and check it against a pitch diameter table in the machinery's handbook. Take the reading in the same way as using an outside micrometer. Thread micrometers come with changeable anvils to fit the pitch of the threads to be measured. They may also come in sets of four micrometers, each one of which fits a range of threads per inch. This one can measure a range from 8 to 13 threads per inch. One of the most accurate methods of measuring a screw thread is the three wire method, which uses three wires of exact dimension and an ordinary outside micrometer. Maximum accuracy requires that the wires contact the pitch diameter of the thread. So the first step in this method is determining the best wire size. This can be done by checking a table in the machinery's handbook, by using the manufacturer's chart that comes with the wire measuring sets, or by using the formula W, or wire size, equals the constant 0.57735 divided by the number of threads per inch. The formula W equals 0.57735 times pitch will yield the same result. We will demonstrate how to find the best wire size for a 1 inch 8 unified national course thread. Looking in the machinery's handbook under 8 threads per inch, we see that the minimum wire size could be 70 thousandths and the maximum 112 thousandths and 5 tenths. At the pitch line, the best wire would be 72 thousandths and 2 tenths. The manufacturer's chart shows under 8 threads per inch that 72 thousandths is the best wire size. Using the formula, we see that W equals 0.57735 divided by 8, or 72 thousandths. To find the result by multiplication, W equals 0.57735 times the pitch of 0.125 for a result of 72 thousandths. To determine what the correct micrometer reading would be if the thread is the proper finished size, use the formula M, or the dimension over the wires, equals D, or the major or outside diameter, minus the constant 1.5155 times P, which is pitch, or 1 divided by the number of threads per inch plus the quantity 3 times W, 
which is the wire diameter. Using the correct values for a 1 inch 8 UNC thread, M equals 1 minus the quantity 1.5155 times 0.125 plus the quantity 3 times 0.072. So, M equals 1 minus 0.1894 plus 0.216. M then is 1.0266. Another way of finding M, or the measurement over the wires, is with the formula M equals D plus 3W minus the constant 1.5155 divided by N, which is the number of threads per inch. To insert the values, M equals 1 plus the quantity 3 times 0 0.072 minus the quantity 1.5155 divided by 8. Thus, M equals 1 plus 0.216 minus 0.1894 for a result of M equals 1.0266. Both of these formulas yield identical results. When the thread must be cut to a given class fit, the pitch diameter formula must be used. The Machinery's Handbook provides this formula for using pitch diameter, which we will designate E for finding the correct dimension over the wires. For a Class 2A fit, the pitch diameter to use is 0.9168. This formula is M equals E, or pitch diameter, minus the quantity 0.86603 times P, or pitch, plus the quantity 3 times W, or the wire size. M equals 0.9168 minus the quantity 0.86603 times 0.125 plus the quantity 3 times 0.072. Thus, M equals 0.9168 minus 0.1082 plus 0.216 to yield M equals 1.0246. One point oh two four six is the correct dimension over the wires for a class two A fit. The pitch diameter for a class three A fit, point nine one eight eight, yields the measurement over the wires of a one point oh two six six, or the same results as with the other formulas. The formulas using the outside diameter give a class three fit. Once we have determined the best wire size and the correct dimension of 1.0246 over the wires, then we are ready to measure the thread. Place two wires under the thread and one directly opposite on top of the thread. You can use a rubber band to hold the wires, or hold the wires with one hand and the micrometer with the other. Then, making sure that the micrometer is over the wires on a line perpendicular to the axis, take the reading. Use the ratchet stop. Do not clamp the micrometer on the wires. A light feel gives the most accurate reading. This thread measures 1.0242, or 4 ten thousandths under the specification of 1.0246, which is within the tolerance listed for the pitch diameter for which we are measuring. Another method of measuring screw threads is with the comparator. The part to be measured is set up in the comparator and a light beam is shown across it to give an image on the screen. This method can measure the major diameter, the minor diameter, and the angle of the thread. When the angle the minor diameter and the major diameter are correct, the pitch diameter must also be correct. The comparator is useful for quality control or mechanical inspection, but is not a very effective way to measure threads which need further machining to bring them to size. Other methods of measurement are used on the part during machining. Let's review the measurement of threads. You have learned appropriate safety precautions definitions of the basic terms used to describe thread form, and five methods of measuring threads with mating parts, the thread plug gauge and ring gauge, 
the thread micrometer, the three-wire method, and the comparator. The correct measurement of threads is vital to the manufacture of precision parts in the machine industry.